Say hi, Gray. Hi, Gay. Say hi, Berkeley. Say hi, Porter. So it's the next day, if you couldn't tell by my shirt. We finished um, bathing the pumpkins. I basically had to do it myself because Gray lost interest very quickly. And we also cleaned all of the water table toys and the water table itself. I've never seen it look so clean. So it was actually a really successful day yesterday. I just really didn't have anything else to record. But I'm recording today because today is Anthony's birthday. Like I said previously, he turns 29 today. Um, and so we are going to celebrate him. I have some presents for him to open. Like I said, it's a raincoat and a wallet. I'll see if I can vlog him. He's working right now. And then we are going to go out to dinner. My parents are going to come over and watch the kiddos and put them to bed. So we don't have to do that tonight, which is awesome. So we're hanging out. It's actually really beautiful out today. It was looking really dark just a couple minutes ago and now it's just looking beautiful and clear. So it is so pretty. I think we're gonna walk because the restaurant that we're going to is just um, wa within walking distance of our house. So I think that's where we're gonna go. It's very close to where we went for our anniversary dinner. So we've never been to this place. It's called The Pearl. I think it's like seafood, which Anthony loves. So that's what we're gonna do. I had this whole plan because um, Anthony's really into Japanese culture and food. And so I was gonna take him to this, it's called like Little Japan. It had a bunch of different like Japan market and grocery store and it had a Japanese restaurant. We were gonna go eat there, but Anthony said he really wanted to do seafood um, at, this, at the Pearl. So I said, hey, it's your birthday. If that's what you want, that's what we'll do. So that's what he wanted. So that's what we're gonna do. So um, hopefully I can find something to eat. I'm sure I'll probably get a salad if anything. I just really don't care for seafood. I just don't like the way it smells. I, the texture, I don't like, so. But Anthony is very excited. <clears throat> and it's all about him today. So unfortunately we're not doing a cake or anything. Anthony doesn't like sweets and we're trying to get in shape for Jamaica, so. No sweets. Um, we are gonna celebrate him on Sunday with my family and I think my mom's gonna make cupcakes. So we'll have some sort of sweet, but nothing today. The boys did run in this morning and they sang happy birthday to him. I didn't record it because Anthony was like half dressed, but they ran in and jumped on the bench and, and Grace sang happy birthday and Porter cuddled with him. So it was really cute, but yeah, not, not a very exciting birthday. He's been working. He had to go renew his license because it expired today. We totally forgot. Hey guys, so it's already been a super busy day today. Um, it is towards the end of October, it's Friday. It is the 22nd, the day after Anthony's birthday. The boys and I have already had a busy day, like I said. We went to a little Halloween party with my mom's group. So I joined this mom's group back when Grayson was only like six months, so back in 2018. And we've been members ever since. Um, you just pay $25 annually, which really isn't that bad. And there's just events all the time. People will hold events in their houses. They'll post events around town that you can go to. And usually around the holidays, we do holiday parties. So today was the Halloween party. So all the kids dressed up in costume and got together at this cute little building behind a coffee shop. So it was really fun. Greg got to dress up in his astronaut costume. Porter, I put him in his alien costume. It lasted for about five minutes, but I have like the exact same look. It's just jammies. So I just put him in his alien jammies instead and he was happy. Um, and so they had really cute games. They had like ring toss and bowling and uh, paint a pumpkin and just lots of fun things. They even did a little scavenger hunt um, for the kids. They put like Easter eggs, but they were, they had pumpkins on them or jack-o'-lantern faces on them and hit them around outside and each kid got to find um, eggs. So that was really fun. Uh, Gray found eggs and he loved it. Porter just watched. And then upstairs in the little building we were in, they had a bunch of toys. And so the boys were playing with that. So I got, I got some clips here and there that I'll input here. Did you go on a, on an 
egg hunt and you found four pumpkin eggs? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, show me your eggs. Oh, wow. That's so fun. But it was really fun, um, fun to see some mom friends again and uh, just socialize and get out of the house. So it was really nice. It was a bummer because they had a lot of activities outside planned, but it was just so cold. It's so cold today. It's only like 50s, low 50s. So it's very cold today and not sunny. The sun helps so much and today's just cloudy. So not ideal weather. So we just stayed inside mostly, but both boys are napping, which is a shocker because Grayson usually doesn't nap. And Porter lately has been fighting me on naps ever since we went this past weekend to Toledo. He's been like scared for me to put him down to sleep because he thinks I'm like leaving him for good. And so he just cries and cries and cries. So he fights me on naps. Also, he tends to fall asleep in the car. If we're in the car at all in the morning he falls asleep and then his whole sleep schedule is just off so really um difficult lately with him but both boys are sleeping right now so that's why i'm filming so we had a lot of fun and then um more fun going on today which is like wow we just have such a busy day my sister allison is going to come over after work and we are going to attempt to go to boo at the zoo it's really really cold so we might go we might not it's not far from here and even if we go we don't have to go for too long i have memberships to the zoo so it's not like we're paying we just go for free um they have boo at the zoo like i said and so they have little halloween activities we did this last year with grayson and he loved it they have like a trick-or-treat trail and so they have stations set up along um the zoo and kids go in there can dress up in their costumes and bring their trick-or-treat bags and you can go trick-or-treat and get candy at all the stations so it's really cute it's free um and i think they have like little like halloween decorations set up around the zoo too so we might go and do that that was our plan but the weather is so so cold so we'll see if we uh do it i never go to the zoo by myself i always go with another person just because it stresses me out even going to the party this morning i was just so stressed out because it was just me and the boys and so i'm outnumbered and i never know how they're gonna do they were actually in really good moods today so i was very thankful that this morning went really well and so if we go to the zoo at least i'll have allison to help me <laughs> so we'll see how it goes um but yeah if we do go to the zoo i will definitely vlog it for you guys <laughs> Thank you.